Well, as you can expect, the mood in the ruling camp could not be any different. Overjoyed and empowered by the landslide win, the Senuri party can set about the business of revitalising the economy and pushing through its planned reforms. Uh, Jimmy Angil has more on how the ruling party and the presidential office plan to work together. President Park Geun-hye has been given the green light to get busy running state affairs for the rest of her term. The ruling Senuri party's unexpected landslide victory in Wednesday's by-election has given the government a mandate to rebuild itself in the wake of April's ferry disaster and pursue its stated goal of economic revival. The people voted for the Senuri party because the public felt the urgency to reform the country and revive the economy. The governing party promised to support President Park in carrying out her national reform drives and not to use politics to divide the people. The Senuri party will denounce any form of regionalism that is deeply rooted in Korean politics and will work toward bringing about national unity. The ruling party's new chairman, Kim Moo-sung, is expected to use the election win as a mandate to carry out a complete overhaul of the party. With no election scheduled until 2016, Kim has ample time to make his mark. It is also possible that he may equalize the nature of the relationship between the party and the presidential house of Cheong Wa-de. The ruling Senuri party now has 158 seats in the 300-seat National Assembly. The main opposition party has 130. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.